Plot Summary of Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson Brown Girl Dreaming is about the author's life from the time she was born until she was about 10 years old. In 1963, when the civil rights movement was at its height, Jacqueline, the youngest of three children, is born in Ohio. The people in Jacqueline's family are all African American. Jack, her father, is from Ohio and Mary and, her mother, is from South Carolina. Mama lost her brother Odell before Jacqueline was born and Odella was born. Mama and Jack fight a lot, and in the end, Mama runs away with Jacqueline, Odella, and their older brother hope to live with her parents, Georgiana and Gunnar, in Greenville, South Carolina. But Jack did come back and beg Mama to forgive him, and Mama and the kids went back to Ohio. But when they try again, they fight again, and Mama leaves Jack for good, taking the kids back to Greenville with her. The kids are getting used to their new life in South Carolina. They like spending time with their grandparents, and they get so close to Gunnar that they start calling him Daddy. Gunnar works at a printing press and also takes care of a garden. To make ends meet, Georgiana does day work, which means she cleans for white families. Jacqueline likes being with her grandparents in South Carolina. Hope, on the other hand, finds it hard to get used to the new weather and living without his father. Mama seems unhappy in Greenville as well, since most of her friends have moved away. At the same time, the civil rights movement is becoming more and more important in their lives. Jacqueline thinks about all the ways she and her family are treated unfairly in South Carolina like how Gunnar's co-workers treat him badly and how the buses are split up by race. In Greenville, the kids get to see sit-ins with their own eyes. Mama goes to New York City, so Jacqueline, her brothers, and sisters stay with their grandparents. After a while, Mama goes back to Greenville and tells the kids, as well as Georgiana and Gunnar, that she is moving to New York and taking the kids with her, which upsets Georgiana. At the end of summer, the family gets together. Gunnar has always smoked, so it's worrying that he now has a cough that won't go away. Mama goes back to New York to find a job and a place to live before bringing the kids there. Georgiana, who is very religious, tells the children that now that Mama is gone, they should be more active as Jehovah's Witnesses and go to Bible study every weekday afternoon except Friday. Gunnar's cough gets so bad that he has to start missing work. Mama sends them a letter saying that she is pregnant and that she will be back soon to take them to New York. Mama finally gets back to Greenville with the new baby, a boy they call Roman. The family says goodbye to Georgiana and Gunnar and all goes to New York City together. The family moves into their first apartment, but they leave it quickly because it is in bad shape and can't be lived in. Then, they move into the apartment below the apartment of Mama's sister Kay. At first, Jacqueline doesn't like New York City and misses her hometown of Greenville. Kay dies not long after the family moves in. The family moves once more, this time to a house on Madison Street. Odella and Jacqueline go to the same school, and all of the kids go to services at the local Kingdom Hall, which is what Jehovah's Witnesses call the building where they meet. Odella does well in their new school, while Jacqueline has trouble reading but loves to make up stories. Uncle Robert moves to New York City and spends a lot of time with Jacqueline and her siblings. Jacqueline starts to feel more comfortable in New York, but she still misses her mom's parents. Roman gets lead poisoning from eating the paint off the apartment walls, so he has to spend a long time in the hospital. Mama stays to take care of Roman while Jacqueline, Odella, and Hope go to Greenville for the summer. Gunnar is even sicker than before, Jacqueline, Odella, and Hope find out. When summer is over, the kids go back to New York, where Roman is still in the hospital. Roman is finally allowed to go home. During the last few weeks of summer, Jacqueline plays with Maria, who has become her new best friend. Maria lives on the same street as Jacqueline. Her family is from Puerto Rico. During the school year, Jacqueline keeps writing and telling stories, even though she finds it hard to write. She finds books and poems that move her and decides she wants to be a writer. The next summer, Roman and the other kids go back to Greenville. Gunnar is in very bad shape, and Jacqueline helps take care of him. Even though the civil rights movement was successful, 
Jacqueline feels that racial segregation still happens in Greenville, even if it is against the law. Robert takes the kids back to New York City at the end of the summer. Jacqueline reads more at school that fall and makes her first book. A new girl named Diana moves in next door. She and Maria and Jacqueline become friends. When Maria's brother is baptized, she calls Jacqueline family, which makes Jacqueline feel better. Mama gets a call one day telling her that Robert is in jail. When Robert is moved upstate to a prison, his family goes to see him. Georgiana tells Gunnar's family that he is dying in the spring, and everyone flies to Greenville to say goodbye and attend the funeral. Georgiana moves to Brooklyn to live with her family after Gunnar dies. Jacqueline goes back to her hobby of telling stories, goes back to school, and keeps playing with Maria. Robert is out of jail and has now become a Muslim. The Black Power movement grows, and Jacqueline and Maria try to be like the movement's activists. They learn about the movement from Mama, Robert, and the TV. Jacqueline's teacher tells her that she is a writer, which makes her feel like her dreams are real. The memoir ends with two poems in which Jacqueline talks about her beliefs and her approach to writing imaginatively. These poems show how, over the course of the memoir, Jacqueline has learned more about herself and her ability to tell stories. About the author Woodson was born in Ohio in 1963, the third of four children. When she was a child, her family moved to South Carolina and later to Brooklyn, New York, where Woodson spent her adolescence. Woodson has written over 30 books, mostly for children, ranging from picture books to novels, and has received numerous awards for her work. Woodson and her partner live in Brooklyn with their two children. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.